Hey guys, this is how to play Teenage Kicks by The Undertones, a fantastic song and essentially uh, this is a power chords and bar chords workout ideal for anyone doing my brand new Improve a Guitar course, all covering um, bar chords and power chords. This is a great song example of that and if there's anything that you struggle with in this lesson, the, I really believe this course is the best solution to any issues that you're having. Uh, please subscribe if you enjoy this video. The tab is on the website, links in the top corner. Let's get straight in for a close up and learn this classic song. Okie dokie, teenage kicks. We start off with a D major bar chord, played like this. And if this is a chord that you don't really get on with, because we need all uh, the thinnest five strings to ring out, so that's a D major bar chord, you can swap it for a D power chord if you prefer, and that would be just playing from the fifth fret, seven and seven with the third and little finger. That works also. The second chord in this song is the same, whichever one you're playing, either the major chord or the bar chord, you just move it down to 4th fret, so that is with the 1st finger at 4th fret, the 2 like this, so that's 1, 2, and then to a B minor chord, which is at the 2nd fret. You can also play this one as a power chord if it's a bit too tricky, but it, it should be okay, I can't see any reason why that would be the problematic chord, I think it'd be okay. And then when we're coming back, we also always go through this uh, fourth fret as well. So all the chords for the main riff and all the verses are number one, two, three, four. And they are, and they had played with the following strumming pattern, which is one, two, three and four and one and two and three and four and. So after the first two strums, one, two, it's just downs and ups for the rest of the time and it's when we move that's the important thing. As a demo, one, two, So uh, just a little bit slower and I will pause halfway because it's the same strum. Once we've gone down to the B minor chord, it's sort of a repetition of what you've already done. So as a demo, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, and four, and one. One more time. Three, four. One, two, three, and four. And Counting the downs and ups, three, four. And then when we get down to here, one, two, So the real problem for most people is, uh, as long as you can play the chords, it is the rhythm, it's the strumming. If you can't get it at all, playing the root note and just trying to copy where the root note happens in the original record or copying me now kind of simplifies things. When you're working out when chords change, it's a great idea to just play the root note. And then put that to the bar chords with the downs and ups. Three, four. 
Also goes in between the lyrics, so you stay on one chord until the lyrics have stopped. It's when we get to there that we want to play a G major bar chord. Okie dokie, that's at the third fret, it's kind of like the F bar chord, moved up to second, then third. And it's the exact same rhythm, um, but rather than the other two chords that we moved to, I should say, are uh, going to the fourth fret and then the fifth fret. So it's the exact same rhythm. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one. Uh, to finish off with, we don't have to move anywhere else, it's on the beat that we go there. To show you in context, three, four. back up to the top when we get to there. One more time, two, three, four. And then we're back to the top. There's a nice thing on the little instrumental break. So after that's happened twice, um, it's the same pattern, but it just stays to the uh, to to the first section. So there's a little bit of a. to the two chords that we play. So that's a D major to D sus4, adding the little finger here. And then the B minor, sus4 is here. And you deaden this string, that's fine if that doesn't ring out. That's strumming again. Um, And then it would go back to. Okie dokie. Um, again, pretty simple structure. If you're playing these sort of chords, you should be uh, well aware of standard song structure. And this one's pretty typical. On the sort of third repetition, well, once we've heard intro, verse, chorus, intro, verse, chorus, the third time, it is the solo. <laughs> That is taught in a separate video. If you click here, you will learn exactly how to play that solo because I'm separating all the solos so I can put uh, a nice catalogue of just the, the lead parts together for people who want to learn lead guitar. While that solo is playing, you can just keep the same pattern going. <laughs> the same and then the ending is pretty simple D, D, G, G, A, A, D. D major G G 
A, A, back to D. And you can, as I say, for every one of these major bar chords, if you prefer, you can just do the power chords for every one of them. It does make it a lot more simple, but just that ending after. Fourth fret, fifth. Um, teenage Kicks by The Undertones, click there for the solo. Thank you very much for watching guys, please subscribe by clicking the link on the screen now and check out the rest of the rock guitar songs and a full beginners course, loads of things for you on my YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching, bye for now.